emotional fearless. So, have you ever been reluctant to share a testimony with non-believers? You know, it, sometimes you feel a little reluctant. You're just not sure you want to, but why? You know, we have everything that we want to be sharing with everybody, mm -hmm. but yet we're, we're afraid. We're afraid of being ridiculed or maybe not believed. And, uh, you know, he has blessed us with so many things, and we need to respond accordingly. Um, some of the blessings in Lori and my lives have been, you know, we were nine years without children. It took us a while, and the Lord blessed us with three healthy children, and uh, we're, we're so happy that they're um, in this world and we pray for them every day <laughs> so, um, and then yesterday um, you know I, I, I hear about people always being afraid constantly in fear or anxiety or depression and I feel like gosh that's just not me but I do find that I have this quick temper anxiety like I was working on my trailer yesterday and I went down to the garage and I came back up and my father-in-law had also been working in the trailer and so he was done working in it so he just closed the trailer door and I saw him walking away and I go, hey, you shut me out of the trailer? He said, oh, that's okay. The keys are right inside the trailer on the counter and I go, okay the trailer door was locked and all the keys were in there. So first thing, I'm just like, uh, you know, I'm just like, oh my goodness. So um, fortunately, you know, and I believe this is a miracle and I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> say it forever, that I found a key uh, on my, on a keychain somewhere in the house and I put it in, turned it and boom, it worked. I went in and got the keys, and you know, and then when I was done, I locked everything up, and I took that same key, and I tried to unlock it again. It doesn't work. <gasps> oh my goodness! That is so that's a miracle. Okay. Also, um, we've had prophecies. You know, we had Charlie Sweet here. Some of those prophecies have come true for us and our family. And, it's, and we are just really blessed. And, you know, I hold fast to those types of things. In the Bible, there's a, a young blind man. And he said, um, all I know is that I was once blind and now I can see. He wasn't afraid to tell the religious leaders what had happened. Okay? Then the father of a possessed son shouts, Lord, I believe. Help my non-belief. This man believed it could happen, but still, like many Christians, he had unbelief. Asking God to help is a very wise first step. So that's what he did. But basically, they held fast to their belief that they knew what had happened. They knew that it was God that had done something. So what should we do as Christians? We should shout the results of our blessings from the rooftops. We should in no way deny the work of the Holy Spirit. We should be fearless to ask, confident in the proof, and firm in our continued petitions being brought forth in the company of believers upward to the eternal master of the ages. And I'll repeat that. We should be fearless I mean, there's a, there's a brand out there, no fear. I love that. We should be fearless. Confident in the proof. You know, we know what's happened. We know what's happened in our hearts. We should share that with people because our testimony, our personal testimony is very powerful. And we should be firm in our continued petitions being brought forth in the company of believers upward to the eternal master of the ages. 
1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 21 says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies, but test everything and hold fast what is good. Amen.